A few months back, we made a short using Apple AirTags to track your luggage as you travel. I posted it to all of the platforms out there here on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, got tons of views and some interesting responses concerning security were brought up. And while I'm aware of the security and privacy concerns around AirTags, are you? Let's dig in and investigate further. First, some history. The Apple AirTag was announced April 20th, 2021 and released on April 30th that same year. The Apple AirTag is a Bluetooth-enabled tracking device that looks like an oversized silver and white button and is intended to be attached to something you want to keep track of, like your keys or wallet, and if lost, help you locate it. To help maximize the discoverability of AirTags, Apple has integrated the ability to sense an AirTag into practically every iPhone and iPad with Bluetooth enabled. Considering as of 2021, there were approximately 1 billion Apple devices worldwide that could detect and anonymously report emitted Bluetooth signals, the network of devices out there that can sense and report back to the owner the approximate location of an AirTag is impressively large. I'm a user of AirTags. I use them to track things like the luggage you saw in that short while traveling, to keeping track of my car keys, and a few other things. The benefits of having a simple Bluetooth tracker as ubiquitous as an AirTag can't be overstated. Being able to find my lost keys on numerous occasions has saved my butt, and tracking my expensive camera gear brought me peace of mind while traveling. I think that their use, at least in principle, is a good one, but there's also serious concerns concerns as well. The AirTag's release was met with concern and controversy, with many in the industry stating that AirTag is a gift to stalkers and so on. These privacy concerns are absolutely valid and the potential for misuse is frightening. Fast forward a year into the future, and while Apple has made a lot of changes to help curb abuse and minimize improper use of AirTags, abuses are still clearly happening. In February of this year, Apple released an announcement detailing how they're working with law enforcement to curb stalking, as well as adding additional features to help you find an unwanted AirTag quickly. Though those dangers still exist. As an example, on June 3rd this year, a woman used an AirTag to track her boyfriend, who she suspected of cheating, to a bar, confronted him, and subsequently murdered him outside with her car heavy stuff. To give you a better understanding of the risks, we're going to run an experiment. My co-creator John is about to go on vacation. I'm going to hide two air tags on his vehicle and track him along his trip. Full disclosure, John knows I'm going to be adding the tags, but I'm not going to tell John where they're physically located on his vehicle. Since I know he's an iPhone user, let's see how long it takes him to find them and how far we can track him before he does. Okay, here we are. This is John's vehicle behind me and I've got air tags with me to put on the vehicle. I'm gonna put one up front over here by his radiator and one in the back by his gas tank. Let's get him under the vehicle. There we go. Right, I'm right there. Right there, if you can see it. Right there. Using Apple's Find My app, I was able to track John's movements as he traveled on his vacation. I could see each gas station, restaurant, and rest stop he stopped at along the way. Anytime John's iPhone had cell coverage, it would report the location of the stowaway air tags at a frequency of about every 10 minutes. The question is, how long did it take John's iPhone to alert him he was being tracked, and how long did it take him to find them? I put the, the trackers on your vehicle last night, and how long yes. did it take for them to alert you on your phone that you had you were being tracked? I believe it was about 1.40 this afternoon, around there, 1.30, 1.40. Okay, and when did you leave? 4.30 this morning. Okay, so it took a long time. It took a lot of miles for the, uh, for the alert to pop up. And uh, good hiding spots, by the way. It took me a while to, to find these guys. Yeah, that was the qu next question is, you know, after you actually were able to stop, did you, did you hear them? Were you able to find them because you heard them chirping or did you use the yeah. phone or what? No, yeah, well, I mean, you hit the, the button on your phone saying play sound. And you're able to dial it in pretty easily just with the sound. It's good. So, yeah. So you found both, but obviously. I, I honestly thought that I'd get in a car in the morning and it would just tell me immediately. And because they haven't had anything near them, right? Right. And it's, I just can't believe it took that long. I, I was surprised. Yeah, so. that's, I imagine that if you were being tracked and you were just going between different locations, but leaving your car afterwards, you'd probably take a long time to find out that they were there. Yeah, I mean, if I could drive from uh, Oregon coast to the middle of Montana yeah. before you're, I'd, I'd say that's pretty significant. Yeah, but. that is, that's that's pretty crazy. I don't want to keep you because you're on vacation, you should go enjoy your vacation, but I appreciate you being my guinea pig and uh, have a good vacation, buddy. Yeah, hey, uh, thanks for the, the free air tags. Free air tags? Yeah, they're all yours. Yeah. Apple isn't the only player in the Bluetooth tracker market. 
Tile is also in this space with Bluetooth tracking tags that are agnostic to your operating system or platform. They offer a variety of form factors and styles with varying features and functionality, all of which can be used to track someone's location as well. The main difference between Apple and Tile's tracking features is that Tile is opt-in, meaning for tracking to work, you need to be running the Tile app on your phone for it to discover tiles and report locations. But it's not built into the operating system like with Apple. Before I began using AirTags myself, I originally started using Tile after losing a set of keys, but had mixed luck with the discoverability of Tile compared to AirTags. So what should you do if you found an AirTag that's not attached to something lost like a set of keys, but instead is clearly being used to track you? If you're an Apple user, you can hold the white part of the AirTag against the top of your iPhone and you'll get information about the tag. This will show you the serial number of the AirTag and the obfuscated phone number associated with the account. But really, that's it in terms of identifying who may be tracking you. Apple does provide a link to the instructions on how to disable the AirTag at the bottom. Believe it or not, the only way to disable an AirTag short of destroying it is to remove the battery. If you're an Android user and you found an AirTag, you can download Apple's official Android app called Tracker Detect, and that will allow you to scan for, locate, and help you disable AirTags around you. Keep in mind, if you're using Android, short of hearing the AirTag chirping or running the Tracker Detect app, your phone won't alert you to the proximity of one. There is no way to prevent your phone from participating in this detection and reporting network. In Apple's own words, quote, Disabling the Find My Network on your device, turning off Bluetooth, or turning off location services on your iPhone will not prevent the owner of an AirTag, AirPods, or Find My Network accessory from being able to see the location of an AirTag or accessory. You must disable the item by following the instructions above. Simply put, if you're using an Apple device, you're implicitly accepting the reality that you could be tracked without your wishes and there's nothing you can do about it. Where does this leave us? First things first, if you found an AirTag and you're a victim of stalking or you feel your safety is at risk or you're in danger, don't hesitate. Take out the battery and contact your local law enforcement. They can contact Apple and find out who the tag belongs to as each one is tied to an Apple account. Personally, while I'm a fan of Apple products, I'm not a fan of the fact that there's no way to opt out of participation. The reality is that even if I were successful in preventing my phone from relaying locations of AirTags, the billions of other Apple products out there used by everyone around me would still provide proximity if one was being tracked. And it frustrates me when useful technology like this ends up getting misused by bad actors. In the end, my final advice is this. Be aware of your surroundings, and when your iPhone tells you there's an unknown AirTag nearby, deal with it immediately. Best of luck. All right, I have another great video from Two Guys Tech for you to watch. Go over here and click this link and watch the video we made about the Broadcom VMware merger and whether we think it's gonna affect VMware.